Well, we came back to check the clearance items. See if the price has dropped on any of these. Oh, they dropped. The boys have been here hard. They know exactly where they're at. Taped back up. Guarantee you not one of these things has a battery in them. You might get lucky and there might be one with a battery. This one don't look cut. Neither does this one. This one is. Let's see what they say. They were not like that the last time I was here. And the guy's telling me, yeah, they already reduced the price. That's... I'm like, no, dude, somebody stole the batteries out of these boxes. Like, <laughs> crazy. They don't even freaking know. Or do they care, I guess, right? Who does? Nobody gives a crap. <laughs> Let's go see what they say at customer service. How much is a bear tool worth? Well, the M18 blower fuel is still at 360. Missing an 8.0 battery. Yeah, okay. She said she could pull $100 off that. I'm like, no, I'm not paying that much for a bear tool. I go buy the bear tool on the shelf cheaper than that. Like, what are you even talking about? They don't even know that they're missing. Like, <laughs> it's crazy, man. It's really crazy. And uh, the non fuel weed whacker was 186. She said she'd take 100 off. So that's 86 for the bear tool. Probably still a good deal, but. I don't need it. I'm gonna go buy some Ryobi batteries that I can use that haven't been pilfered out of the package, you know? Uh, what are you gonna do? It's just gonna drive the price up for everybody else. And they had it in the worst place in the store, the back corner of the store, like, it makes no sense. Well, so much for getting an 8.0 on clearance, right? XC80. I don't. I think they make an HO8 8.02. It's crazy. They just lost probably about $1,200 worth of batteries, maybe more. <laughs> Truthfully, probably like two grand. Well, this one's ready and programmed for double digits. 